Today I am in paradise. We're in the heart of Malibu, overlooking the Pacific Ocean, about to tour the most incredible home, and you're gonna come with. I am so blessed with what we do here, uh, and, and so thrilled that we get to share it with you. We're in Malibu, overlooking the Pacific at its best in, in what I call a tropical paradise. I mean, Adam, are you in love? I am in love. This might just be my favorite house we have ever looked at. That's a big statement. It is. But it is gorgeous. I've had a peek pre preview and you haven't. I know, I'm so excited. Let's go meet Megan. I love the glass door. No one can see in here. Long driveway, beautiful gates. Tropical paradise, just amazing. Megan. Hi. Hi. Hi, Michael. How are you? I'm great. Good, to, good see to see you. This is Adam. Hello. Hi, how are you Adam. doing? Nice to meet you. Megan, nice to meet you. Thank you so much for having us here. It's just gorgeous. Yeah. And I had a little preview earlier. Adam hasn't seen the property yet. He was late. Yeah. Actually, actually, <laughs> uh, he wasn't um, late. He went to the wrong house. And I was flying the drone, so I was working technically just remotely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Megan, tell us about this property. Tell us about yourself. Yeah, so my name's Megan Madge. I work with Coldwell Banker Realty. This is my listing. And this property is truly one of a kind. It's five bedrooms, eight bathrooms. It's over 9,000 square feet, and it sits on three and a half acres overlooking Malibu, the Pacific. Um, right in the heart of the city. Gorgeous, it really, yeah. really is gorgeous. Yeah, and so if anybody, I'm a big real estate nerd, if anyone's interested in real estate in Malibu or the surrounding areas, feel free to reach out. We'll make sure that all Megan's contact info is in the description and can't wait to look around. Yeah, feel free, enjoy. Thank you, thank you. I really love what we do. I mean, gosh, look at this property. You're in love too, right? I cannot tell you how much I love this. So let's start here. This is the formal living room, I guess, right? Yeah. I mean, it's nothing formal about it. It's just inviting. Absolutely spectacular. Shall I open this? Yeah, let's do it. How do we open it? There we go. But we'll go out here soon. Okay, let's just I give them a the, little the, taste. Yeah, the whole house is just surrounded by water features and, oh man, it's oh, gorgeous. Mate, I, seriously, I am, I, I feel it in my stomach. I want this house so bad. Work harder. Or it might be the breakfast Show burrito that I had. <laughs> so I think four of the five bedrooms have fireplaces in them. There's fireplaces throughout the house and there's three fire features outside, which I'll wow. show you. I love this open plan feeling in here. Look at this staircase. Beautiful. And then here, this is just a walkway. Uh, it could double up. You could put a little pool table here if you wanted to. Yeah, and also I feel like if you were doing an event, this would be a great space to have catering and that kind of thing. Great idea, it really would. And this is the dining room. And again, another big fireplace. And I was told by Megan that this piece of wood here that makes this gorgeous table was rescued from, I wanna say Puerto Rico. I wow. think that's what she told me. They look, fill it with look, epoxy. Yeah, isn't it amazing? That's gorgeous. It really is. So I love the fact that they've gone with the white walls and then the dark furnishings, but then look, they've kept these like lighter colored wooden pillars in here. It's such a great mix. And the modern lighting. It, yeah. it really does make for a great, great, great contrast. Okay, so in the middle of the house, this is like the kitchen, casual dining area, like a breakfast nook, but it's not a breakfast nook because it's so big and gorgeous kitchen. Yeah, this is lovely. It really is, isn't it? So everything in this kitchen is like super top end. This is Fisher and Paykel. I believe this is also Fisher and Paykel. Uh, so I guess everything is Fisher. No, this is Samsung. I stand corrected. This is Fisher and Paykel. Refrigerator and freezer, and there's another one here because this is the coolest pantry. Look at this, isn't this fun? Wow. There's another fridge freezer there. The Thermador coffee maker, which is just amazing, cappuccino maker, don't know what's in here, but let's have a peek. Oh, oh dog biscuits. It's storage. Isn't it nice? Wow, this is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And of course here you've got your little eating area that's not so little and you can also eat at the bar there's a bar stools uh, 
So nice. Yeah, I just love how open Water and airy it is. Everywhere. Yeah, I mean, literally every window. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one. It's just spectacular. Mm -hmm. This is, I guess, the fun room. Big room, great bar. Let me go behind the bar. I like to go behind the bars. For someone that doesn't drink, it's interesting that I like to go behind the bars. Isn't this fun? It's lovely. I feel like I'm in a, in a hotel serving my guests. Seriously, this could be like a boutique hotel. It really could, couldn't it? I mean, when you explained it earlier, it's kind of like a resort or a spa. That's how it feels. It, it's so nice. I mean, where do you have this in the house? I know, look at this. Isn't it gorgeous? Look at it. We've got to go out. We have to do what? We've got to go out and show people. So let me say something that's really interesting. This house was actually involved in the Woolsey fire. Did you know that? I didn't. Parts of it were on fire. The, the furniture that was on the balconies all caught fire. The palm trees, I don't know whether you'll be able to see or not. These big palm trees, the top of them are still charred from yeah. the burn. And all of this over here um, was burnt down. So it's all brand new, all wow. being replaced. And if you look further out, you can see that all of the greenery there, that used to be houses. It all got burnt down. How sad. Wow. But this became beautiful out of it. Right? I mean, yeah, literally the phoenix from the ashes. This is stunning. Terrifying I'm, that that happens. I'm in heaven it, right It's now. gorgeous. I mean, it's gorgeous. If this was closer to, you know, lots of restaurants and everything, I would want to live here in a heartbeat, you know, it's... But at the same time, I'd want to live here anyway, it's just so nice. This would Let's be a, a great sort of weekend retreat, wouldn't it? A very nice weekend retreat at that. Uh, 500 bottle temperature controlled wine room. Ooh. You going in? No, just having a look. Okay. Here is a very interesting area of the house. This is the spa room. Here's a sauna. Yes. Nice. Steam shower. Regular shower. Regu that's a shower? That's a steam room. That's a steam room? Yeah, that's not a shower. Oh, I got that backwards and then. <laughs> this is a steam, yes, this yeah. is a steam room. That's a shower. That's a shower. And this is a loo. How did I do? You did brilliant, mate. And made it right, and there's a sink. I want to live here. You do? So bad. It's really, beautiful isn't it there's so much more to see outside we're going to go outside and do all of that so this actually shortly. isn't for sale this is a rental correct this is a rental yeah one hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars a month and it's a lot of money but it's a lot of house it is a lot of house a lot of house i'm going to show you something that you don't expect okay you ready i'm ready adam hasn't seen this house this is going to shock you okay Are you ready uh oh are you ready i'm ready okay A chicken coop. Ah, oh, are there chickies in there? No. Ah, oh. they removed them for the video. Oh my! I mean, as if this couldn't be any more perfect for me. There you have your organic eggs. I know. I've always said that my ideal lifestyle would be to be totally vegan as I am, but having my own chickens that ran free, had a brilliant life, and then I'd eat their chucky eggs. There you go. While we're out here, let's not do all the fun parts, but I will show you something else that's okay. kind of cool. Okay, here is a bocce court. Wow. How about that? That is amazing. And the house also has I a just... generator that powers it because in Malibu they do get power cuts. Oh, okay, interesting. I just love all of this greenery. Isn't the landscaping lovely? is unbelievable. So pretty. So do you think they'd believe me if I told them that the B-roll was gonna take like three to four weeks? <laughs> I thought you might say a couple of months. So talking of special things, this office is actually part of the master suite, which is above us. So it's a two level master suite, complete with fireplace, wow. view, and look out this window. I, uh, I don't think my jaw has been off the floor this entire tour. It's, ah, it's that rhyme. truly beautiful, truly beautiful. But we'll do the master suite shortly. We have uh, more to do. The house has a four car garage, although one of them they've converted into a gym. So this is a gym or could be a garage. No way. So nicely done. Right? And there's a full mirror here, TV. One. This is this goes into the regular garages, which are in fact 
garages. Wow, so I mean, three, it's four, a big four three cars. Car. Yeah, so you get four cars in here. Right, wow. and you could put another 30 cars outside. Right. All right. There's a powder room off to our right here. These are storage cupboards. Beautiful powder room. And I do want to mention, people are actually living in the house, so uh, there's a couple of closets we won't go in, but for the most part, we can see everything. Let's go upstairs. Spectacular. I mean, every window, look, over here as well. Notice the lamps. They are ropes, like mariner's ropes. I love the aesthetic they've got going on in this house. Beautifully done. So, although this particular, I guess this is just like a, a walkway, has its own balcony with a fire pit. How about this? I'm going to have to stop recording. I just, I am so overwhelmed. Adam, look down here. Look at this. It's beyond incredible. I think this is my dream house. Is it? R for real. So would you rather live here or the one? Get out of town. You tell no, this every day, no right? No question. And so this isn't for sale, but what do you think this would go for? A lot. I, I don't know, uh, 9,000 feet, Malibu on the Pacific, three and a half acres, 40, 50, 60 million. Yeah, it's got to be a lot, hasn't it? Has to be, has oh, to be. So worth it though. So this is a guest room. Look at the size of it, isn't it lovely? Again, has a beautiful balcony. Spectacular views again. There's an orchard down there, Adam. We'll go visit it shortly. Really? 50 fruit trees. Oh my goodness. And so a can... yoga retreat, a whole what? building. And there's a pizza, and there's a beer. They've even got a beer tap, Michael. Wait till we go out there. You'll be a happy camper. Okay. Multiple fountains off the pool. Just sick. There's three fire pits. One there, one over there. The one on that balcony. That might be four fire pits. Like, I almost want to cry because I don't live here. <laughs> That's how much I love it. Fireplace. Look at this mantle. What I know. A, what a great idea. I love all of this reclaimed wood that they use. Yeah, it's incredible. And then this is the bathroom for the guest suite, which again, you take your bath overlooking the amazing views and you've got a two-sided fireplace. Oh yeah, look, they've done the same thing. I love these vaulted ceilings as well. Luge in there. Amazing. Fabulous, isn't it? Okay. Not, not the loo is amazing. I, I said amazing as you showed me the loo. <laughs> closet, there's stuff in there, so it won't you, but it's a deep, big closet. I'm assuming that's the same. Okay, so this is the smallest bedroom in the house. Um, again, fabulous views. And quite adequate, right? Yeah, this would do for me. And it has a balcony. If there are 10 people, bathroom. if there are 10 people who might want to rent this and move in, I'll, I'll put my name down as one of the tenants. So that's 12,500 you're committing to for the month. Yeah, I will save having to store my sea and my boat and everything else. There you do. <laughs> there you do. There you do. Bathroom. And there's a walk-in closet, which I believe, oh, that one doesn't have anything in it. Lovely. Again, this is the smallest bedroom in the house. Another thing about the house, it's fully automated. Everything's on voice control. So that's pretty cool. Laundry room. I'll let you go in and take a peek. Gorgeous. A little galley. Not a galley, really. Gallery, I think. Gallery, is yeah. I was looking for. Another guest bedroom. Oh, this is, this is nice. Imagine Spectacular waking up. Spectacular sea views once again. Nice bathroom. Let you go take a peek. Very nice. Once again, fireplace and a balcony. Does every room have a balcony? And a fireplace, except the, the little one, which has a balcony, but no fireplace. Uh. 
walk-in closet here's another guest room so this one is the only one that doesn't have a direct Pacific view but it does through this window so it, it does have a sea view and again uh, not a bad house to overlook is it no uh, so this is where I was you know when I showed up to the wrong place yes that's where I was those houses not terrible <laughs> not terrible not terrible uh, at all. this I'm assuming is a closet and that is the bathroom yes this is a closet it has things in it that is a bathroom and it has things in it too but those are bath accoutrements lovely and the fit and finish is really nice really nice everything is done to high standards I would say this design style is the perfect blend of modern and beachy yeah yeah it's it's contemporary it's, it's contemporary open. but it's not over the top it's not cold it's still very warm exactly too. check this out magnificent oh my this is the goodness master retreat oh my goodness and it's just spectacular this is the view look at this view adam get out of here do you love it or do you love oh it oh my god i am speechless <laughs> it's spectacular there's another fire pit speechless let's take a look at the bedroom so this is enormous and if you notice it doesn't have a tv in here but it does down here in the retreat with a double-sided fireplace oh, can you imagine and you can sit here look out your window at the ocean or watch tv right just all cozy at night with the sound of the fountain fireplace Fire burning off. this is the staircase that went down to the office and then let's take a look at this so this is the she section of closet which is really nicely done I won't open anything because there are right personal items in the balcony balcony and then if we go to the other side we have a his kind of quiet area there's a shower and a loo oh that's interesting up the steps right huh. and then the main bathroom is oh wait so that isn't the main bathroom this is the main bathroom whoa well sorry his bathroom it's well yes it. but this is also yeah. doubles up because it's it's to fireplace once again <laughs> beautiful shower and look at this this is idyllic isn't it crazy idyllic i mean it's beautifully done it's so so nice and i'm assuming this is a Lou, it is indeed. Lou. And look, even this, mate. Oh, I don't want it because there's something on the other side, but you could open those. You could open it and, and have a, a view in. Let's go into the tropical paradise. Look at this. Isn't this exquisite unreal so that's the master bedroom up there where we just were all of that from that corner all the way across it's just so so pretty i believe that's catalina island is that one catalina that's catalina right there that is pv right there pv is palace, palace verdes. verdes yeah and then that right there is santa monica you can see the so it's disorientating right around the corners and how it is yeah you imagine santa monica to actually be here beautiful beautiful water features this is the outdoor kitchen that's a tv and the tv pops out uh, i won't show you but there is a tv i promise in there and this is incredible this is a pizza oven right yeah it is are you impressed that i knew what it was i am twist it it's got a cobweb on it ah there we go yeah. How about that? This is fun. Beauty. I mean, look, mate. Just look. This looks like the south of France or even like up in like Northern California. Yeah, you does. know, wine country. Now you can see clearly over there the trees that perished with the fire. Yeah. 
and they're rebuilding some houses but there were multiple houses there that have actually been removed that's so sad you can see some of the lots where there's cars over there i guess they're rebuilding so so sad and this area here where i'm stood was up in flames wow so uh, the owner did an incredible job rescuing the property i mean look at this you wouldn't even think there's enough brush here to really burn would you no just shows you there is let's go look at the orchard let's go this way because there's a yoga retreat Can you imagine sat out here at night i didn't even notice from the office you can actually come out here and the whole house is designed to be kind of outside be careful where you walk here they have a little doggy so that goes to the orchard look at these fruits they're enormous are these wow. grapefruits i do you know i don't know what they are they have to be grapefruits they're so big yeah Unbelievable. Else is, but yeah, they have all sorts of things. Well, the one benefit of the fact that this went up in fire is that the soil will be nice and fertile. Lots That's of nitrates. True. That's true. I mean, look at this. Look at these blossom. Okay, so this is the most zen yoga room ever. Go in there, Adam. Oh, my God. Get out of here. Is this zen or what? Imagine light some candles, come down here and just chill. This is absolutely unreal. And you know what, if you wanted to, and you wanted to just like come camping one evening. You, you could, could yeah. come and come camping. You could have an adventure. <laughs> like if you had kids in this house, it's can you imagine like them doing sleepovers down here? It'd be brilliant, brilliant. And then the land goes all the way down to the bottom. So you can grow all of you. I mean, you could be totally self-sufficient up here. Yeah, you could. Totally. Especially if you like fruits. Let's go look at the, uh, the pool, oranges avocado trees i am truly in heaven orange trees or are these limes these, these are limes limes yeah and i believe we were told that we could take some on the way home yes so. i believe so so we'll we'll fill up the trunks i brought my range rover today so i can <laughs> i bought my motorcycle well i'm going to take more than you yeah look uh, a little garden down there for all of your veggies and salads and stuff that's the organic garden yeah, yeah. another fire pit so maybe there's more fire pits than i thought there were fire here having lots of fire pits is that wise <laughs> i mean gas i yeah. think you, you think you're okay yeah i think so too i love this look they've even done a little beach so it's got like a little beachy feel isn't that wonderful roasty marshmallows ah oh, i Your seriously hammock in between the palm trees i can't tell you this feeling that i've got right I know, now he's genuinely excited this is not camera stuff this is adam at his most excited there is not a thing i would change It's just amazing. It's an infinity edge. Imagine you're in the pool looking that way, you just see the ocean. Wow. How many people could you put in this spa? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, like ten, twelve. Easily, right? Yeah. It's paradise. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this a quarter as much as we've enjoyed filming it. Because if that's the case, you're in love, because we're in love. It's, it's sick. I mean, perfect use of the word, sick. Anyhow, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. We're in it to win it. See you from Malibu.